Hi, everyone. We moved again. We're outside on the plaza just south of Montview Church. We're in a new place, but we're going to talk again about that same word. The word is wonder. Remember, it means two things. It means that feeling that you get when you're surprised by something beautiful, and it also means what we do when we're curious and we ask questions and have doubts. Today, I want to read a story to you. It's called, If Jesus Lived Inside My Heart. That's another way of wondering about what would our lives be like if we remembered to follow the lessons of Jesus. Let's see what the book says. If Jesus lived inside my heart, would other people know? Perhaps he'd use all parts of me to love and shine and glow. If Jesus used my eyes, I think he might just recommend that when I see a child alone, I try to be her friend. I'd offer her some bubble gum or ask if she might like to shoot some hoops of basketball or try out my new trike. Would Jesus use my mouth to say I'm sorry when I'm wrong or offer kind encouragement for friends to get along? I think he'd use my arms to give big warm and snuggly hugs and hold my baby sister when she's scared of creepy bugs. My hands could make nice cards to send to Grandma far away. I'd also rub my mother's shoulders when she's had a busy day. I'd use my gifts and talents that God's given me to share. I'd play a song for Grandpa and his friends to show I care. I'd always try to do what's best so someone else might see that Jesus lives inside my heart and works through little me. And if there were one cookie left, I know just what I'd do. I'd split it with my brother cause he'd want a cookie too. I know I sometimes make mistakes, I'm messy and I spill. Then what does Jesus think of me? Does Jesus love me still? I think he does. He loves me more than I'll ever know. I know that Jesus is with me and he'll never let me go. I'll work through you and shine through you just like the brightest light. I'll guide each precious step you take and help you do what's right. And though I live inside of you, I'm here for all to see. When others see your acts of love, they're also seeing me. That was Jesus speaking in that last part about being with us always. We say Jesus sometimes, and we also say God is in our hearts as well. 
we can remember those lessons about how to be kind and respectful, how to help and share, even when it's one cookie and you have a little brother and yourself who would like one. I know you're good at all of these things. And that's what we've been wondering about. What would life be like if we followed Jesus? I hope you'll think about that as you do each day this week. Let's pray together. We'll fold our hands, close our eyes and bow our heads, and we'll say amen together at the end. Dear God, we give you thanks for all the ways that we can be kind, all the ways we can share and be helpful and be respectful to other people. Thank you, God, for helping us to live in love. God, we give you thanks this day for family and friends. We thank you for all the heroes and helpers the firefighters and the climate scientists. God, we say all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus, the baby, the man, and the risen Christ. And we all say together, Amen. Amen. I hope you'll have a week again of wondering, both feeling that wonderful surprised feeling when you see something beautiful, maybe a tree in your yard. And I also hope you'll wonder by questioning and being curious. What if Jesus was with me all the time and I remembered to follow his lessons? We'll see you next time. Bye.